Tensions have exploded between the Fulton County Sheriff and some board members of that commission. Today, the Fulton County Board met to discuss what to do about severe overcrowding, overcrowding rather, at the Rice Street facility. Options on the table include sending detainees to facilities outside of Fulton County, even outside the state of Georgia. But it's costly, about three and a half million dollars a month. And this afternoon, we watched as the stress of the situation boiled over between Sheriff Patrick Labatt and Commissioner Bob Ellis. And I'm going to no, finish my no, remarks. No, you're not going to sit here and disrespect okay, me. No, no, no. I've minute. been disrespected. Commissioner Ellis used his time on the floor to say the board needs to have additional notice of what could be done with emergency funding before the sheriff appears before them to ask for it, saying the sheriff hasn't made the best financial decisions in the past with Fulton County funding. Secondly, I want to say this. This is about the third time that the sheriff's office has come down here not with not giving us information ahead of time to ask us for a boatload of money with limited detail. The sheriff responded, saying the commissioner is completely inaccurate. I have done nothing but day one, from day one, try and improve the conditions in the Fulton County Jail and Fulton County Sheriff's Office as a whole. Understand this. I'm not going to let you take me there because my mama taught me better. But you're, you're telling not the truth. You know it like I know it. Now, it is not clear when any type of official proposal might be offered for consideration for a vote by the commissioners. Today's meeting was a lengthy one. A jail detainee appearing to give a firsthand account of conditions at the jail during today's meeting as well. If you'd like to get caught up, you can look for this story on 11alive.com. We have included that detainee's presentation inside this story.